Hello and welcome along to the Racers TV. Jason Holder is going to join us shortly. He is hot to trot at the moment. But firstly, let's have a look at the diary for racing in South Australia. It's another big day coming up at Morfittville on Saturday. The highlight, the half million dollar sporting bet South Australian derby. On Sunday, we go racing down in the southeast at beautiful Panola where it's Millicent Cup Day. And next Wednesday, we're racing at Balaclava. Well, no one riding better in South Australia than Jason Holder. And Stubby, it's the right time of the year to be riding well too. Yeah, absolutely, Tez. It's been good. Um, keeps the critics away and, yeah, it's good to get a bit of form up. I know you enjoy riding at Oakbank. That must have been pretty special on Easter Monday, booting home four winners. Absolutely, Tez. It's um, something I've always liked going to Oakbank, only because my mum used to take me there when I was a young kid. So it brings back some good memories. And, um, you know, when I rode one, it was good. And when the rush came through, it was awesome. So... It was really, to drive away the after four wins is a good feeling. And then to follow it up last Saturday um, with a double at Morfordville. Firstly, I'm going to ask you about SA Raider, who's not running this weekend, but he was really dominant last weekend, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Um, his, his run prior to that was really good. I thought I probably got back too far in him. So Leon, Leon McDonald and I had a good chat about it, and I probably learned a lot from his first run. Um, and I rode him a little bit closer, but a bit more confident before the corner, and I think that made a bit of a difference, and he just attacked the line as good as anything on the weekend. And what about Gamblin Guru, his final hit out before the derby this weekend in the Chairman Stakes? What did you make of his victory? His win was good, and he did a little bit wrong in the run, but in saying that, he came underneath me at the 1200, which was good. Finished the, finished the, finished the race off really well. I think he still had a bit in hand. Um, so I think the more the further distance the better, but he just got there a bit soon and just stargazed, but I thought he was tough. Good tough test for you on the weekend, the outside barrier. It's going to test me, Tez, but you know, why not bring it out? We're, in, we're out there to win it and uh, you can't win in the jockstream, so it's good to have a ride in it and a good ride in it as well. Are you confident that uh, he will settle, he will run the trip? I believe so. Um, I've got to know him, I ride all his track work as well. Um, the trick to him is you just can't fight him too much. Um, you give him a bit of a bridle, a bit of rain and he'll come back underneath you. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens from out there. Obviously, we'll, I think we'd probably go forward, I would have thought, but uh, wherever he's, I'll ride him wherever he's comfortable, um, and that's a trick to him, I think. It's a tough game, the racing game. Uh, we feel for Claire at the moment, who's out injured, but you've been through that as well. I mean, you lost a really plum ride when you were riding in Queensland. You'd won the Magic Millions on Feel and Ready, who then went on to win the Golden Slipper. Absolutely, Tez, and um, Claire's a good friend of mine, and she congratulates me every time I ride a winner, so hats off to her. Um, and I feel for Claire because obviously she's done a lot of work on these horses but um, it's an opportunity and you've got to take him Tez and I'm sure Claire would have done the same. And you've got a great association with Leon McDonald, you still call him boss and still call his wife Pam, Mrs Mac, um, you go back a long way. I do and you know I might not get the first call of his horses but I'm always there in, in his team so um, we've got a great association, he gets me out of my comfort zone, gets me there most mornings and uh, makes me put in which is good and it's, I think that's been the reason why I've got a bit of success behind me as well. I'm sure someone else driving you at the moment is your manager, Damien Wilton. Does a great job for me, tries very hard. Um, going back before, uh, going back probably two months ago, we, rides started to dry up a little bit, so he really had to work hard for me. He still does and still got big belief in me. Um, and he's a big supporter of mine, which I've um, gratefully appreciated. Of. Good luck on the weekend, Stubby. Thanks, Tess. OK, let's have a look at these feature races for Morfordville on Saturday. Race three is the Oakland's plate for the two-year-olds at listed level over 1,600 metres. As you can see there, 10 final acceptors for that race. Across the race number six, the Sporting Bet Stakes, registered as the Euclo Stakes, Group 2 race for the three-year-olds over 1,200 metres. Always a very strong race. This year, no exception. Race seven, the Adelaide Galvanising Adelaide Guineas for the three-year-olds at listed level over 1,600 metres. A big line up there. The Derby is race number eight, the Sporting Bet South Australian Derby. Half a million dollars at Group 1 level. Capacity field, 16 final acceptors plus three emergencies. And finally, on Sunday, we're racing at uh, Panola. It's Scott Petroleum Millicent Cup Day and uh, a final field of 12 with three emergencies there. We'll see you again next week for The Races TV. There's nothing like a day at the races.